the first Thursday of the month, and in Fresno, that can only mean one thing, Art Hop. David Tobin joins us now to try to explain his very unique exhibit called Audio Jack. Hi, good morning. Good morning, guys. So this really kind of just happened because you were fiddling around with sounds. Yeah. I was basically taking a bunch of different sound effects that were given to me and some stuff that I had designed and started layering them one after the other and realized it was actually telling a story without any music or words or any video aspect to this at all. But you're saying telling a story, is that in the person's mind? Do they create the story? Yeah, exactly. It's open to your imagination. I have a specific story in mind with each of these, but I never tell anyone because then that would affect your perception of what it is. And so it's basically up to your imagination to decide what you're experiencing. So how do you share this? Because you're asking people to go sit someplace and not look at anything, really. Be yeah. in the dark and just listen. Well, um, basically, it's great in your car with headphones if you're on your way to school, if you're at school. Um, <laughs> um, a lot of commuters have been using it. Um, teachers have actually been using it for creative writing with their students. And the blind community has been using it as well. Um, I even uh, have something for you guys I brought along. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nice little eye masks that help oh my gosh. keep it along. Awesome. Thank you. Well. I actually needed one of these now that it's uh, uh, summer and yeah. it's so <laughs> bright outside and we go to bed so early. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, how is this being shown? At, here you go, sorry, at Art Hop. Well, uh, tonight uh, at the Treasury in the Tower District off of Divisadero, um, they have a uh, basically their main room and then we have another room that we've set up in there where we're bringing people in and the lights will be dimmed low there's a sound system pumped in there mm -hmm. and we're we'll running the sample um, from about eight o'clock on throughout the rest of the night where people will sit back kind of relax uh, I have a bunch of masks and stuff to give yeah. away to everyone tonight and you sit back and just let your imagination go and it's this kind of sensory deprivation aspect, I guess. And now, now, let me ask you qu another question. Yeah. Uh, people are sitting there in the dark, and their minds, their imagination is going way out there, wherever it takes them. Yeah. Has anybody uh, uh, had a, a laptop, and they're writing down what they're imagining, what what what, uh, what is happening in their minds? Yeah, actually, um, what they have done is actually after them. And people have gone to the website where you can download the full versions of it. and. There you've got a community section where people are writing what they think is going on in each one of them. Wow. And it's really fascinating to see people, you know, say, oh, you know, I, I, this is what's going on. And then someone else say something completely different. And I have yet to hear someone say exactly what's going on in any of the stories. But people come close, but it, they just go left all of a sudden. And, oh, my God, this happens. Now, how do you entitle them? Um, basically, I come up with kind of, I, that's the hint, is there's a little okay. bit of a hint with each title of them. And there's a series where the story actually goes from a beginning, middle, to an end. And it's kind of up, really, I try to keep it as much to the user's imagination. Sure. So we can, because everything, we have video, we have this, we have that. Mm -hmm. We rarely get to use our imagination these days, it seems like. like we're being told how everything has to be. So true. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, very, uh, let's listen. Let's listen to what Okay, yeah, I've got a little sample here for yeah. you guys. Mm. <laughs> I'm in New York City, and I'm seeing all the energy of New York City. People traveling, running around, the energy, the activity, like during the holidays. Wow. wow. And I'm with Iron Man, and, I, and, yeah. I, and, yeah. I, and Iron Man is walking around. Although there was yeah. a gunfight. There was a machine gun fight. <laughs> and, and there was a machine gun fight through there, but nobody got hurt because they were using rubber bullets, um, and actually it was a scene of a movie they were see, shooting. Oh, there my you. gosh. See? It's, it's That's awesome. And what, yeah. what is your idea of this? Well, I can't tell you oh. I haven't even told my parents which uh, wow. I, I get a lot from and my friends like well, let me know and it's I, I never <laughs> tell anyone but and it's really tough because that was just a small sample of it but there's a whole story that leads into it and the perception of it kind of changes they're, they're all about between 7 and 12 minutes long so it gives you a chance to really kind of immerse yourself into you, it you could write a novel that's the idea awesome. an audio novel. or not write anything at all and it's just all on uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sound. Awesome. Yeah, this yeah. is ingenious. It is so out there, but it is ingenious. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. And yeah. you're local. Yeah, well, well I, I, used I, I used to be yeah. local. Yeah, local, yeah. 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 Which and one's now you're in LA. I went to, oh, I went to uh, Fort Washington, uh -huh. Kasner, Clovis West, Fresno City, and Fresno State. Awesome. 
Congratulations. Right Good Thank you, you very, very much. much. Yeah. All right, so if you'd like any more information on Art Hop and Audio Jack, <laughs> log on to our website, kmph.com, click news links, and let your ima imagination soar.